There was a big conversation around R&B being dead. And as a person who's really involved in R&B, how do you feel about that? And what can we do? By the way, you have done the best R&B song oh, in the I last 18 that, months. Man. You have the, the Her Damage record. Oh, yeah. That is by far the best R&B record of the last man, 18 I months. That, I don't can't think that. of one better. Big shout out to the whole squad. Aunt Clemens, Cardiac, Tara Thomas, and uh, her, of course. And, yeah, man, it's just, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it was a Honored to be a part of it. What else can I say? You know, she. Uh, I've known her for a really long time, and uh, it's been, it's been a, just a thrill of a lifetime to to watch her evolve into who she is now. So, um, y'all yeah, yeah, see how smooth he is. Right. Let me tell you why I say that. He understands. As soon as you give him the light, look what he does. He could have kept the light. Mm -hmm. He could have been like, yeah, I did. But you tell what he did. He shared she the light with that. others. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you why that's important. If I know you gonna give me the light, I'm gonna always give you the light. Mm. And if I know you going, some people just act like it was all them, but if I know you gonna say, yo, shout out to Ray, cause Ray was just, I'm gonna give you every opportunity because you gave me the light, so. And speaking of which, I'm tripping, cause I'll be remiss not to give a shout out to the goats, the real goats of this R&B shit, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, man, come on, but, man. But, 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 yo, what? fire. And, and, yeah. So, to, but to, to to answer to go back to your question, that's so interesting that this conversation is is going around now. Cause, I, as somebody who loves R and B, I remember a time where there really wasn't no R and B. <laughs> it was all EDM and yep. all mm. of our favorite R and B we, artists we, we was did, doing EDM, which is okay. Hold on. Which is okay. Oh, you don't even know. Okay. We, we did a did show that, called yeah. EDM we EDM Money, mm -hmm. killed R and B, mm -hmm. cause it was just too much money in it, and it was like. You had to make, and like I remember that boat. time. Shoot, you know, I was making R and B still through it all. Yep, and there was a few of us out there still doing it, and but we, you know, got into EDM too, and just kept again, kept kept yeah, with, the, with the, exactly kept adapting. That's what we do. We adopt, we adapt, we evolve. But it's then around 2014, you know, like Kaylani, SZA, Bryson, her. And there, there started to be a whole movement, and then once you had Ariana Grande doing "Thank You Next," boom, mm. the the gate is open, Switch boom, R and B is here, it's pop music, let's go, to number one, on Billboard R and B music. So it's so interesting to me now. I feel like in my lifetime, R and B is at a a real peak, a real mm. peak. So. I'm I'm a little myself a little confused. not confused. How we get how how we get the R and B being dead because look. It's not, I remember the 90s and 2000s, I mean, early 2000s, we had some amazing R&B yeah, music. I Let I mean, that's a fact. So I don't know if it's that era, but it's certainly not maybe 10 years ago. It, literally, I felt it was dead. That I wasn't going around saying it's dead, but I felt like, oh, wow, really nobody cares about R&B music. You Yo, know? shout out to Tommy Brown and, and Victoria Monet because I always say this, Thank You Next was a... It was a it was a, a 2018 or whatever year it came out Sierra record. That was a Sierra song. Like everybody, mind you, everybody else was trying to give Ariana Grande all those big vocals because she could sing. It goes back to what we spoke about earlier, where it's like just because you can sing your ass off, don't mean you have to sing your ass off, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So when when Ariana finally came with that simple "Thank you, next," like I, that probably had to be so hard for her to have to just like pull back all the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. It came and it changed R and B because it made people see this shit is really about just being authentically yourself and saucing it out. And that was the time where they pulled from Max Martin and that whole crew and said, "Let's try it on these, you know, young black kids and see what they do." And <laughs> they fucking delivered. Now, not my, that's my family, but they Big delivered. Facts. Sometimes, Big sometimes facts. because we have friends, we don't. Nigga, that's a superhero story. Nah, exactly. We we got to give them their flowers give, yeah, too. Bro. And, and yeah, absolutely, I, I think I think if I'm not mistaken, Tommy was working with Ariana, but that was but that, the but big it was, they, moment where yeah. he took over. Yeah, because they because they kind of he was the, he was the B project. side, he was yeah. the B team. It was like, yo, Tommy, we're gonna let you do, we're gonna let Max do the first ten. He's gonna get all the singles, and we'll give you three or four yo, records for your team. But big shout out to Tommy. Got, yeah, that's my. Wait, brother, can I man. ask y'all something? It's gonna start something up, and I'm sorry because yeah, just y'all y'all just inspire uh -oh. me. And Ray, you gotta answer this too. And it's on the spot.